Welcome to the Lads AM Podcast, a show for those late night ramblings you only get when the rest of the world is asleep. This show is available in both podcast and Let's Play form. Check out our social media to find out how to listen the way you want to. Tonight, we are playing Mario Kart. It's Dustin, though. Why did you pick Baby Park for the sexy seventh time? I don't think Baby Park's in this game. It is. Yeah, Baby Park's here. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. You crazy? I have not touched this game in forever. What are you smoking something? Mm -hmm. Maybe. This is all baby park. It's all baby park. <laughs> you get you. You've been down. Your your uh, your game has been downgraded. Reverse DLC. Nice. We took we took your game away. <laughs> that would be a travesty. Yeah, don't. I, gar oh, I guarantee you that E. I guarantee you that EA, EA has that ends planned already. They know how to. They have the technology to do it. They're just waiting for the right moment to do it. They're waiting for a massive world event to happen. They're gonna suddenly drop it while no one's paying attention. All right. So crazy thing. You ready? Mm. Yeah. A massive world event happened yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Long. Long may she reign. I guess. Dude, I was but, so uh, excited to have her on the more. podcast. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was so unfortunate, crazy. Unfortunately, I told you we should have uh, done her first before fanning. Yeah, why did we do fanning first? <laughs> <laughs> why did we put fan why would we put the queen on the way? We didn't want list? to put her under pressure for being our first guest. Yeah, right? it would have it would have <laughs> she would have crumbled. Look, yeah, she wouldn't even tell any good jokes. Look, the <laughs> yeah, I don't think the queen's really all hey, that uh, hey, She's not hey, good Dust for bits. Hey Dustin, yeah. real quick. Uh-huh. Are you playing as Luigi? Yeah. Fucking told you, Matt. I, okay, cool. <laughs> I Before you tell you. Voice, I asked Matt, I said, who do you think Dustin's going to play as? And I was like, I will bet he's going to play as Luigi. Yeah, man, and you know, Luigi. And you know, And do you know what I said? I was like, yeah, okay, probably. <laughs> well, first <laughs> said, well, first you said Warren. Oh. Well, you asked, you asked me to guess, and I said Wario. And then you're like, nah, I think he's going to play... Luigi. And I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, probably. You probably know better than I do. Yeah, get told, Matt. I told you. Absolutely wrecked. You, didn't, you, you, didn't believe, you didn't believe me. You thought Wait. I was... You called me crazy. I... I'm mad. I called... No, I called Rob crazy and psychotic and multiple slurs. For thinking you would ever play <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> you bust out all of them for Robert. Dude, I had to, dude, I had to Google. I had to Google more. <laughs> I ran out. Damn, I'm getting so mad. You had to Google. Them <laughs> I had to Google more slurs. <laughs> That's it. Going to racist dictionary. <laughs> did I? Did I actually? Did I ever tell you about one of my friends' D and D characters? Uh, I don't. Maybe. Think so. Maybe. So we'll in on. the in the first one shot that I ever ran. It was um, junior year of college because the next, because the first semester of senior year, we were going to start a campaign. So I did a one shot before the summer started. Okay. And he played a bugbear named Paul Blart Townsguard. <laughs> I'm liking where this is going. Go on. And he, part of the character trait was that he was racist. <laughs> so did he put that yeah, down yeah. as a flaw or <laughs> no, I think that was a I think that was probably a racial class ability maybe racist <laughs> uh, who uh everyone oh, oh so, what ha so what that's happened just, that's not racism that's just hating society so what happened was he <laughs> being an during, <laughs> during the session he googled uh racial stars for dragonborns <laughs> Oh and he, and he used them, and it was really funny. Oh shit, baby, Park is in this game. I forget, I forget, I forget what they were. I think Scaly was one. It should be. Um, and there, he he pulled out like six of them just randomly. But I think he he did actually say at one sec. Let me look up some slurs for Dragon Parts, <laughs> and it was very funny. <laughs> Do we know this one? Like, is he in, the, in our Discord or? No, you don't know him. Damn, I kind of want to beat him though. I should invite him to the next Pokemon campaign. He's also I'm the, the same. Dude, 
The same what person is- that played uh, Captain Toad and oh. uh, Sonic. Okay, yeah, I've heard of this guy then. Yeah, I want. I want to make it. I want to make one of the NPCs in the Pokemon campaign now just be racist against, like, fire types or something. Oh, racist boy. against fire types? Yeah, just something like that. Do you think Pokemon have biases? Do you think, like... Depending on what your type is, probably. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking, like, an ice-type Pokemon or something. Yeah. <laughs> something that's, like, gonna get wrecked by, uh, fire. Look, I just fear yeah, for my life when I'm fire. around I'm I just, just fear for my life when I'm around them. You know, I just don't feel safe around them. <laughs> I don't have any problem with them. They can live their life. I just don't no, feel safe. No, no, I'm talking an NPC who has flat out prejudice. I just wouldn't feel safe leaving my child with them. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Matt, every time he sees one, he goes that damn blazer. Blazer? <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like the shirt? <laughs> or, like the, like, or like the jacket or whatever it is? Like <laughs> That's a weird thing to call someone. <laughs> Well, the blazer. I like it though. Yeah, I, I probably would have come up with a different. Term. Dude, I want to come up better. Term. Actually, I say we just stop doing the podcast and we just brainstorm slurs for different Pokemon types. <laughs> ooh, <laughs> all right, ooh. all right. Uh, how many types are there? Eighteen. There are eighteen types. Okay, well, we know dark types. Right, so yeah, dark types are already done for us. That's a so. point. Dark well, types done for. Can normal so just 17. be normie? No, I think normal is just white people. Wow. <laughs> so we just call them crackers. Oh, Fair. God. Okay. This isn't Twitch. This isn't streamed on Twitch. I can say that. No, this is just streamed on Spotify and YouTube. And, well, I guess yeah, they're, they're cool. They're all cool yeah, with it. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. <laughs> they're cool with it. I don't know. You say so. Are you saying you're not? I'm sorry. So, have, I, have I offended? Have I offended have we, you? Have you offended well, your only, culture? only uh, a lot. You want? Oh my god! You're joking. You're actually <laughs> joking. Hello. Oh, both of you. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's about it's it's about the podcast, not the game. It's about the podcast. <laughs> None of this is happening, Matt. It's about the happening, podcast, Matt. not the game. It's about the podcast, not the game, dude. I was. I was editing the. Uh, hey Matt, I was you got coconut the mauled. You just got coconut <laughs> mauled. No, I was editing the. Uh, I was editing a bunch of the sh- the sh- clips from last episode, mm-hmm. and I got to the and I was doing the one where I got mad at Dustin for uh, <laughs> killing a pink sheep, and then he mm-hmm. hit me with the uh, "It's about the pod, it's about the podcast, not the gameplay," and I. I was furious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah. Last episode, I also, I also referred to as a, a lunch lady as a lunch teacher, and no one called me on it. Wait, did, did you? you? Yeah. Did you say lunch teacher? <laughs> yeah, I was I was only just watching back some bits, and I said lunch teacher. No. <laughs> no one, I was like, lunch teacher? And no one called you out on it? And you no actually... Way. So you, you, no one called you out on it. You got away with this. Uh huh. And you think, man, I need to call myself out now? Yeah, of well, course. Now, you always, well, now you always, you always get the first yeah, one to call yourself out. Dustin, yeah. Dustin, Dustin. That's no, what makes you a good podcast. No, that's a power. No, that's a power move. Now he's just now he's just dicing us. No, that's what the same you, shit all the time. <laughs> wait, did you say it in something that's? When did you say it? I was talking about class of three thousand, and I talked about the stuff I would Google before I figured out that the show was real. And I said, oh, "Principal, lunch- show- yeah, I said show where principal has a crush on lunch teacher instead of lunch lady." All right, well, future Matt, roll the clip. <laughs> okay, you can say anything you want here. It's gonna get cut out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I don't like how you guys say "yeah" when I say you can say whatever you want because I know you're thinking of the same. Whoa, thing. whoa, whoa! What the? What just happened? Lightning. No, I hold and turn. I hold left to turn left, and I turned right. It's about um, the game. It's about the podcast on the game floor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I listened to the whole thing too. Yeah, I, I guess I just you. really snuck it under there. Wow. I think I've made the decision that I'm going to start actually listening to a podcast. Do you not? Uh, not current. I listened. To the, I watched all the shorts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I yeah. 
technically I'm saying that I wa- I listen to the whole thing. I kind of have to. Yeah, you're yeah, you I, listen to the whole I, I, thing I because you edit the whole thing. Yeah. Like I definitely would not be listening to it on my own time. <laughs> if I have. Yeah. yeah. I know I listen I listen to the first half of the pilot. Yeah. How are yeah, how are we, Dustin? Oh dude, we're great. We're but it's great. like I don't watch no, any no one on Spotify soon enough. Number one on Spotify. Yep, soon enough. Just wait for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so how do we um Yeah, how do we uh how do we get rich? Uh, uh, can't wait for that rage shadows. Uh, I can. I can only. I can only. I can only retweet everything on Twitter so much. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> we all just like and retweet and just hope. <laughs> <laughs> all, all in good time. All, all in good time. Patience is a virtue. It's just that none of us have real patience. Listen, we need a. Wait for like a Twitch streamer to do some sort of like you laugh, you lose challenge. And then we post an episode of and our we, podcast. And then we donate our own clip. <laughs> and, no, an entire Ooh. episode. <laughs> an episode? No. <laughs> it's going to cost a lot of money because it's like five dollars for a minute or something. Dude, I think we could get like a it. clip of ours on something. Yeah. 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 That's we could, it's the clip playing right now. We could. I, I'd say there's a couple. Oh, there's shit. a couple good ones. Ah, yeah. no! <laughs> I think we could have a. Uh, at the end. We could have a uh, a compilation done. Yeah. After we get a yeah. bunch. But we'll we'll, uh, we'll we'll figure something out. Yeah. Top yeah. ten, top ten dusted moments in the Lads AM nope. podcast. Number ten. Number ten. 10. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have a number ten. Top, t- top ten. <laughs> I, 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 think, I, think, I think number one has got to be uh, lunch teacher now. <laughs> yeah. Top ten ridiculous Rob takes. Number ten. Cat dog doesn't look like a cat <laughs> or dog. Come on, man. You know that's number one. <laughs> <laughs> At least in my book. Okay. okay. You gotta, you gotta think. This is in the future. Do you think that's the craziest thing he's ever gonna say? No, oh, I man, can only I'm go really... up from here. <laughs> yeah, listen. I th- until I hear otherwise, if I'm on the voting committee, that's going number one for me. Oh uh, well, <laughs> fun fact: you probably will be on the voting committee. <laughs> right. Wow. I don't like that future. I, I feel like it's just going to get. Inc- I'm getting inc- like increasingly just like take years off the end of my life. Have it. Yeah. But you know, that's what that happens when you start to hobby. Yeah, yeah. Po- podcasting or like content? Yeah, it's is that why? For. Is that why all the streamers are depressed? Yep. Yeah. But they don't have to go to work. Yeah, they just stay in their house all day. That sounds good. Super easy, totally. Yeah. So one of the three of us getting an apartment together. Uh, uh yeah. What about that? We need to look. We need to look into this. Yeah. And by that, I also mean I need to look into my financial situation to see if I can even make that work. You want to talk about that on the podcast right now? Mm-hmm. All right. Much, so I currently much, have about. How much money you got in bank account? Start with the care. numbers on your debit uh, card. Yeah. I mean, you know. Make sure you read those out. So, at, all right. So here's a here's a here's a somewhat actual question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Next month, my debit card expires, okay? Uh-huh. So, like, once it's expired, as a joke, I can share the numbers, right? Um. Or is that I, still a no-no? I think that's a no-no. That might still be a no-no. People, to share people smarter than I de- might be able to figure out what to do with that. To share details of an expired card? Maybe. Yeah, because you're still supposed to, like, shred them before you throw them away that is a good point yeah you are supposed to like destroy all right i am gonna ask my aunt about that because she's a banker (laughs) i want to read my my expired debit card out on the podcast yay or nay (laughs) no 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 no. i no i'm not gonna phrase it like that (laughs) no i'll ask her why is it important to cut up an expired debit 
at 50 subs, we're going to leak Rob's credit card information. <laughs> whoa, 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 at 50? That's at yeah. least like 75. Yep, 75 for Robert. Hey, right, hey, uh, hey we need to get a million the- for okay. me. A million for you. And a billion and for Ted- Matt. And Bill's oh, yeah. Actually, at a billion, uh, we leak uh, Matt's driver's license. Yeah. Dude, I'll get my driver's license at a billion. <laughs> Alright. Is there an actual serious number that you would consider getting your driver's license at? I think. Or not. If there if it Like if we got to ten thousand, would you I think hopefully I'm manifesting something here. Okay. If there was a if we if we live in a world where the podcast has viewers and it became a running thing you know, a running joke that I don't have my license and it became like a sub goal that we would do a thing where like you two both taught me how to drive. Uh huh. <laughs> I would be down for that. Alright. Sounds like sounds like a plan. We could do it well you know what we could do. <laughs> we could get we could get Fanning because Fanning also doesn't have his license. Yeah. Yeah. One of one of you teaches me. One of you teaches Fanning. And we see who which who gets a better race on the driver. highway at 110 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're both racing Mario Kart. Oh boy. I think that would be great. Yeah, that'd be uh, cool. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I it but, would be something. I, I think if I think that would be what would get me to learn how to drive. Content. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, uh, is it too early to say I called teaching Matt? I feel like you both would do it. You'd, you'd oh, I thought like... you said one of us gets Fanning, one of us gets you. Oh, if well, if Fanning goes on, on Fanning's on board, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, is I, I call being able to teach Matt, Dustin can teach Fanning. Mm. Why are you on Matt so badly? I don't know. I don't think it's about whether or not he wants me. I don't know if I want Rob, though. Oh wow! I see what it is. I'm a little, I'm a, hey, I'm just a little worried. <laughs> he survived a whole road trip going eighteen thousand miles. You know, I'm just and I'm not just saying. and not a single accident was to be had. Nope. It was all on purpose. The cars that we hit. <laughs> no, as well as the uh, twenty-two people that I killed at the thirty-seven that busted them. Yep. Mm-hmm. I really wanted a clean number. I was going for forty, but no one was like walking anymore so yeah it kind of sucks it. what happened to yeah, that they kind of started four. running away yeah that uh that family of four that you hit uh leaving uh utah that was crazy yeah it sucks wait which didn't... wait which time the first time we left utah and hit the family or the second time we left utah and hit the family well <laughs> well i mean you hit them the first time and then you and then you got him a second time on the yeah, way it was back. the same family both times, so you know yeah, really right on our way to Idaho. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, just making sure I understand which family. Yeah, yeah, just in case it ever comes up again, we want to make sure you have your uh, your record straight. Yeah, of course, of course. <clears throat> so, so, so he says. Um... Uh, I have a new nephew niece. Let's go. And last Saturday was the uh, gender reveal. Did you guys start a forest fire like everyone else? Nope. Oh, oh, my no. 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 Oh, that was I dang. Um. No. So this. So the plan was this. All right. So the plan was my brother-in-law was going to hit a golf ball. Nice. Right? And the moment the golf ball is hit, it's like a specially designed golf ball, and once it gets hit, it emits a colored smoke. Mm-hmm. Either pink or blue. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloods or cribs, yep. Now, at the same time as that, me and my brother-in-law's cousin... We're going to release poppers with confetti. All right. Okay. So uh, I was told this about a couple weeks ahead of time. My sister said, yep, he's going to hit the golf ball. You're going to let out this popper thing at the same time. 
And I will be holding our the, my current nephew. And uh, they're also going to explode. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> in a color. So, so we get to the moment. And my sister specifically tells both me and my and the uh, other girl doing it. The other girl, the girl, the girl doing it with me. Um, and she explains. So the way that the popper works is you just twist it. You twist the bottom. That's all you have to do. Okay. I say don't, okay. Don't you have to pull? No, 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 no. It was pull. It was a twist. Okay. It's the it's. It's so like the, the big long ones. Yeah, it's like a big long one. It's not like one of those small little ones. Oh, not like the string. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, it's not like the string one. This is like a long. So I say, okay, no problem. So there's a countdown. My sister goes, three, two, one. And the events go as follow, okay? Okay. <laughs> My brother-in-law hits the golf ball. Perfect. And we see pink smoke come out. Okay. Okay. So I say, I have a niece. Now, not even half a second after that thought, I twist my popper. Mm -hmm. And blue confetti comes out. <laughs> And at the moment, I'm thinking, because at the moment, I'm just thinking, well, that's weird. Why would you have blue confetti if it's a niece? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm thinking, oh, because the person next to me delayed hers by like a second or so. She had a little issue. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, one of them is blue and the other one's pink. It's just because I was told the golf ball is what determines the gender. Sure. Well, no, it's actually it's like a second after me, and it's also blue confetti. And so I'm like, why would you make it blue confetti when it's a girl? <laughs> and all of a sudden, everyone's looking around confused. <laughs> so my sister's friend was there, and she was the only one who knew. Right. She's the one who had gotten the golf ball and all the good, gotten the poppers and stuff. And so my so, and she's just laughing, <laughs> laughing hysterically. So my sister's like, what's going on? What are we having? And she says, it's a boy. <laughs> wow. So it turns out that. So, it turns out, when you order these golf balls, okay, you get two of them. Yeah. One labeled P for pink, one labeled B for blue. Okay. Despite this being so simple, right? Mm hmm This company's had numerous reviews about people getting, using the wrong, getting the wrong golf ball. The wrong <laughs> golf ball being labeled. <laughs> just going That's around. <laughs> so <laughs> That's your right one sister, job. My sister knew that there could be a small chance of this happening. To the point where they almost didn't do it. Wow. And then it actually... Did, so, just, to, just out of curiosity, we then pulled out the second golf ball. So this is the one that's actually labeled um, P for pink. Okay. And that one's also pink. See, yeah, they, they really did. messed that up. So they just gave the wrong ones. Pink golf balls. That's their one job. Right. So how to make sure the right color that... is there. Right. How did you screw it up that badly? That bad and that consistently, where they have multiple bad reviews about this. How? Did yeah. They... I'm guessing you didn't. They didn't. Wait, did they? And they knew about the the. The, re the reviews beforehand? Yeah, they knew about them. But I think it's one of those things where it's like... It's probably... The odds of it happening are probably like 1 in 500. 
just, well, it seemed like it was higher than that. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see the reviews myself. I just know that my sister heard that they had a couple of bad reviews. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't know if that means they had like four bad reviews out of 500 reviews, or I don't know if that's, they only saw bad reviews. Sure. They've, made five okay. sales and there are five bad reviews but regardless this was a known thing and i was never told either that the confetti that i was shooting off would also indicate the gender so nothing registered as wrong to me until my sister is confused sure because in my mind, I'm just, I was genuinely just thinking, that's weird. Why would you have blue confetti <laughs> when it's a girl? That's how you get confused. <laughs> You're just so sure. No, the, the golf ball so said, Ooh. clearly the, go the golf <laughs> ball. And as you, and as you know, the it is the golf ball. <laughs> the golf ball determines the gender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with genetics, with genetic, with with uh, biology or chromosomes. It's a golf ball. No, the golf ball does. Yeah. yeah. The, the golf ball filled with smoke. Like you have to go. I think you have to go to the doctor now and be like, "Hey, we got a problem." <laughs> go, no, hey, you're, um, you're saying one thing. The golf the ball's golf saying ball another. another. Like. Like but we gotta, no. we, we gotta get this figured out. Like I want my money back on the golf balls. No, <laughs> I'm officially gonna here. have uh, two nephews. Let's nice. go. Called it. Let's go, dude. I'm good at these. Yeah, we can cut. Uh, you oh. did. You did call me an absolute fool for saying <laughs> it was gonna be. Hey, I know what I know. All right. So one good. other funny thing that I almost forgot. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. I forget if I had mentioned this on the last podcast, but I had been thinking that it was going to be a girl the whole time. Okay. Rightfully so. And the golf ball I... agreed with me, so get wrecked, Dustin. <laughs> well, well wait, wait, wait a second, Matt. My sister was holding a raffle, and the way the raffle worked was... You had to choose if you thought it was going to be a boy or a girl. Sure. And then, whichever one it was, uh, two names were going to be chosen out of that basket. Okay. Well, me and my brother didn't realize that this was a thing until about a minute before the gender reveal. So we both walk over there, okay? Okay. And... There are 11 people who put in that it was a girl. And there are only five that put in that it was a boy. Oh, dang. I should have been over so, there. I would have had your chance. So, <laughs> so, so I looked at my brother and I said, look, I think it's going to be a girl, but let's just put boy and play the odds. <laughs> <laughs> so we both chose boy. It ended up being a boy. There were two winners of the raffle and it was me and my brother. Nice. Wow. Fake fans. <laughs> So uh, See, that Matt would have gone there and said, "Girl, he wouldn't have cared about the." So uh, I won a five dollar yeah. gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. Dude, Woo! I could have gone to five dollar man. That's a whole coffee, <laughs> or like five donuts. It's crazy. If I actually that's, saw uh, that's a breakfast for me. Yeah, I saw um, a video of a gender reveal today. Actually, it was reveal that... gone wrong. Kinda, not terribly oh, wrong or anything. Boy. Police but, um... called. Not oh, not man. starting no California forest fire. No, not that bad. No, it's very very tiny thing. Okay. So it was actually at the football game yesterday. The NFL season started. Okay. And it was the Bills versus the Rams. So for those of you who don't know, the Bill fans, the Bills fans, very notorious for being uh, crazy crackheads. Uh, they like to do this thing where they just jump through tables. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, just, this is what they do for fun. Is most sane tables. Bills fan. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and, and the uh, Bills are Buffalo, right? Yes, Buffalo Bills. Yeah, so that sounds like a New Yorker. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is what they do. So it was, yeah. at the, it was at the tailgate for the game yesterday. So what the plan was, 
was that there was going to be a, like one of those big balloons that has the colored confetti in it on top of a table. And the husband was going to jump on top of it, jump through the table, and the confetti would like fly out everywhere. And it would reveal mm-hmm. a gender. And the, the wife, the pregnant wife, was just standing right next to the table. So oh, they're all counting no. down. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, no, no, not, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> no, I was just I, a, I was I genuinely know. thinking, like, what, wait, why does the husband have to do? Why can't the wife do <laughs> Why can't the wife do it? <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That's probably a really bad I idea. That's yeah. what you're thinking. I mean, meanwhile, picturing a scenario where, like, the table snaps in half and, like, the wife is hurt or something. Yeah, let me talk about in this fun No! Video. Okay, go on. I'm nervous So anyways, now. so she's just standing there. Everyone's counting down. Three, two, one. The husband jumps. And for whatever reason... The wife just pops the balloon before the, he makes contact. Uh, <laughs> she, she just she just popped the balloon, and the dude just dove through the table for no reason. <laughs> Why would you? Oh like, my God. You imagine like when the guy goes through, like the confetti is gonna like fly everywhere or whatever. But no, because she just popped it, it just kind of landed on the table, and he just went through it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? It's like, what was the whole point then? Why did you? He was gonna go through the table to pop it. That's like Charlie Brown well, when he's gonna go kick the yeah. football. <laughs> he Charlie like, Brown had his gender reveal. It been, you see, it would have been really funny if she just took the entire table away. <laughs> yeah, super land. funny. <laughs> super funny <laughs> to have your tailbone broke at the gender reveal party. Dude, that'd be hilarious. I don't know what you're talking about. So, so wait, how high up was the husband? Not high up at all. It was like a out of a pickup truck, pretty much. Onto a folding table, sort of. Not a folding so, table, but like a normal table. So, only a, only so, a couple feet. So yeah. did she pop it, like, trying to be funny? Or did she pop it because she was an idiot? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Maybe she didn't understand. Maybe. She, she just popped in, that, and he went through the table, and the video ended. <laughs> How do you... What? Well, she, she was probably like, like I'm pretty like, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a golf ball and I don't see a golf ball. <laughs> so, golf like, ball. I, don't, I don't I don't know what What's to do. Here Maybe the golf ball's in this balloon. Is, is this a, <laughs> Oh, they left the golf ball in the balloon. I got to get it out before he lands. <laughs> he oh, crush no. the golf ball, we'll never know. Um most important question Dustin, though. Uh boy. Yeah. Or girl. Oh, what was uh, that? Did they, are they having a boy or a girl? A boy. Oh, everyone might be having boys. Yeah. Who needs girls? Same. <laughs> what you yeah, just that's... say? Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... That's a sad beat. That'd it really be, that really be like, like that. Like fifty-fifty. Yeah, yeah. We're only isolating half the audience. How, how long until we have a uh, female An guest on the podcast? <laughs> I want <laughs> Guest on the podcast. No, how long do we have a female guest in our podcast now that the queen is? Unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, what's did. even the point? Yeah. That, she, that she was, was the only. She was the. Fe- she was Dude, the. Dude, really aiming for the queen. Like. Uh, well, there needs to be another. Well, what, what, what about the other one? The other. Princess queen? Diana? That was a long time <laughs> ago. <laughs> no, the other queen. The other Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth the first? Well, there, well there's two of them. Where's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she's been buried for a couple hundred years. Oh, let's, come on, well... Same as Dis- King Charles the First and Second. They got they got Discord there. I don't know, man. They got Discord down, they there. Discord, under there. <laughs> Discord down there. Discord down there. Can I ask a question about gender reveal parties? Uh, uh, no. You are certainly allowed to, yes. Why? So... Fair. I like know. I don't I don't mean it's I don't just... mean like why do you get like I don't mean like why do you get the family together and tell everyone at the same time even though it's really outdated and you know it doesn't really matter anyway okay. but you, regardless I get that part why has it become this thing that people feel like they need to escalate it every yeah, time they, it's done they want, so, they want the views do you, do, I was gonna say do you want the actual reason because I think I, I understand I, the actual reason. I want to. I I genuinely. Uh, so, from my understanding, um, you you're aware of the uh, song that we've listened to, uh, "Money Game" on YouTube. Oh my God, where is this going? Yeah. Um, 
basically just followed that song. This company basically was like, we want to make some sort of a, ga a new gathering. And if we make our new event and we market it right, then we basically have a monopoly on this event. Okay. And they said, if what if we market a gender? Right? So they m made their company and they started marketing it as this whole thing. And they basically marketed it as this is the thing to do now. And I think this started in like the 80s or 90s. This is like relatively recent. Yeah, yeah, fair. And they just marketed it so well that gender reveal parties became a thing. Now, from there, now you have people posting gender reveals on YouTube. From there, it's a dick measuring contest to see who can do the craziest shit. I guess that makes sense. That's what I would have. That's, I think that's the answer that I would have expected. Like, because fun. it's not, it's not, like, it's not like the long realm. story short. The answer is capitalism. Like, yeah. of course, the fruit of all my problems. <laughs> Although, I will say, I want to say gender reveals originated as a British thing. The second uh, of root course. of all my problems. Wait, does that mean we don't have to have I me? Mean, that means we don't have to have them anymore. Oh, Queen's dead. No more gender. Queen, reveal no more gen Dude, the Queen died. There's no more gender. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know what's you know it's just you know, I had a scary thought. You know what that was? The Queen hmm. revived. What, uh, what if we never had World War Three just because she had been alive this whole time? Because remember, she became queen like seven years up after the end of World War Two. So what if she was the re she was the one keeping everything together, I and now she's gone, and World I, War Three is gonna break out? Don't I do it. Don't want to make I, Elizabeth mad. I really doubt it. <laughs> yeah. What was, what was she doing anyway? Don't make Liz mad. Uh, being she's the queen. Be, she's gonna give yeah. us a stern talking to. Liz. The yeah, queen? Liz. Yeah, Queen Liz. We're on a nickname basis. Her and I. Oh, okay. Well, were, at least. <laughs> were. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Yeah, it's cool. Dude, I think the best... 96-year-old, good life. I think the best thing is that Twitter's been really funny lately. Yeah, it's been really yeah. funny. Yeah, I think people have been, like, drafting jokes for when the queen died for a while. Oh, 100 It's like that meme with, like, the folders. It's like, like, yeah, <laughs> it's like, if, if thing happens, if the thing doesn't happen... <laughs> That you see every all, like if the world ends, if the world doesn't end, yeah, I think because people, everyone just started tweeting off like just bangers left and right. I'm like, this is hilarious. I, I can't remember the last time that like ninety percent of my ninety nine percent of my feed was just that one, one topic. Oh, hmm. that's just me on a regular basis. If you, yeah, I mean, if you, but that's just because of the people. I yeah, yeah. If you follow, if you're, if you have a, if you, ha if you've like created like a. Like a small, like we don't follow a lot of things. Yeah. But yeah, that's the right. Yeah. There's typically the, a lot of different topics. For the last two to three months, like 80% of my feed has just been about Big Brother, which I'm not even watching. But it's because I follow all of these former Survivor players on Twitter. Yeah. And, you know, reality stars will tweet about reality shows and survivor and big brother tend to go hand in hand so they'll start tweeting about big brother stuff yeah so. survivor and uh big brother are kind of like the sibling rivalry of reality tv shows yeah I yeah i mean i watched both when i was younger yeah i yeah. was more of a biggest loser guy yeah. I forgot that was a show. Yeah, my dad was almost on it. But not almost. Really? He, he applied to be on it. Oh, well, that's a very different story. Yeah, I applied to be on Survivor know, like four I times. I don't know why I said that first, so I messed up. <laughs> Rob, would you really go on Survivor? Yeah. Like, you actually would? Yeah. Like, do, you think, do you think your opinion... Do you think your stance would... Do you think you would give it more thought if you were actually, like... Sorry to be put into the process. Do you think you would rethink it more, or do you think you're pretty, no. or do you think you're, you're you think you're pretty 
I've had my mind made up that I want to be on the show for six years. Damn, that's crazy. The only reason I would reconsider is if they asked me to be on and it was like really bad time. Like, if it's like, oh, I'm teach I'm in my first year of teaching and you want me to be away for two months in April and May. Like, if I try to ask for that time off, I'm they're not gonna approve. Right. Yeah, of course. Okay. So that would be like the biggest issue. It, it would depend on time. But no. Other than that, I mean while I'm out there, what can I confidently say that I wouldn't go out there and on day like seven or eight be like, screw this, I'm quitting? No. I, I would love to sit here and say I would never quit, but like, it's hard to say how you're going to fare the element, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I would certainly give it a shot. At least. I would certainly give it my all at that. Uh, see what would happen you know damn that's great you're you're crazy that well, being said do i think i could win Robert. do i think i could win no i think you could get pretty i think you could I, get pretty far i think i'd either be one of the first ones out or i'd make it pretty far but i find it unlikely that i could win i feel like you have the you have the potential to be the one that like no one really like the one that no one sees as a threat but you understand but you have like a good understanding of the game so you actually make it you make it far i will say that that's one of the big things i did plan I, i've thought about how i would play the game and the first thing i've said is to pretty much do absolutely nothing for the first half of the game strategy wise and to just kind of lay low kind of coast because i don't i don't want to overplay my hand at the beginning or be able to like i'm as strategic as i am but i know like during our trip me and dustin listened to a lot of survivor stuff and i got dustin really into survivor and uh they've done seasons before with pairs of people i've told dustin that i think he would be pretty good on survivor uh dustin how do you feel about that uh i appreciate the compliment <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea I, if I, I would or not. I, I think he disagrees with me. I think I would definitely have the upper hand on the survival aspect, but and the strategic aspect. But he would have the upper hand in challenges, I think, and he would have the upper hand in just being relatable, being likable. Like Dustin, Dustin is pretty likable. So I mean, and honestly, when it comes down to it. I think it's a lot easier for Dustin to suddenly learn how to do good strategy and stuff versus me suddenly learning how to just be way more likable. You know what I mean? Sure. I want to okay. say I necessarily disagree with you. I just, I honestly have no idea. Like it's, it's I think if me and you about. worked together on Survivor, we would wreck shop. <laughs> Until like final five, and then we turn on each other. I find it five. funny that you think I'd wait till final five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, wow. hey. I don't think hey. you trust me that much. Hey, I'm just saying, Dustin, I'm being honest with you, okay? Okay, if we were on Survivor together, okay, uh huh, I would not betray you. Mm hmm. Without telling you, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> now he's gonna make it feel, uh, make it feel bad. Now he's gonna feel bad when he does it. A hundred percent, I'm gonna do whatever I can to blindside you. <laughs> <laughs> Just pointing out, you would you would blindside me. Not because it would be a good game move, but just so you could say that you beat me in survival. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could get eliminated the next episode, and I'm like, ah, that's fine. I made it longer than Robert. Got further in survivor. You <laughs> really would just survivor. you really would just do it for the bit, and I 100 yep. support. You could that. take both of our games. It'd be like Dustin. We're gonna get first and second. He's like, how about tenth and ninth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know yeah, he would get me in 10th and then just quit. 
Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm done. I don't need a million. I'm just, yeah, I'm good. Jeff, what or Jeff, whatever, like, it does the whole, like, in this, in this game, fire represents your life. He snuffs out Rob's torch. Rob goes off into the dark <laughs> abyss to be killed or whatever, because that's where I, that's probably what happens. And yep. then, <laughs> and then everyone's like, all right, another tribal count. And then Dustin just gets up and sprints and follows him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, imagining I just blow mine out like a candle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah, Jeff, don't worry, I'm good. That was all I needed. <laughs> no, one's, no one's ever done that. That's an awesome idea. <laughs> Imagine. What if they do, what if they do that like right before Jeff does it? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, uh, you Robert, uh, the tribe is spoken. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> You ever, see, uh, you ever see the videos of like it's like a kids at a birthday party and like the birthday kids gonna blow out the candles but then another yeah. kid does it imagine you do <laughs> that it's Jeff Probst <laughs> he's about to like get he's supposed to he's about to, <laughs> he's about to snuff out someone's torch and you just run up there and do it yourself first I don't does it even, think does I think it even torch count? is too much fire to be able to blow out Okay, so you get you get a you run, and then you just punch the air with such force. Just, just shake the like thing a, a bunch, so like, can, <laughs> it'll go. Out you bring water with you. You bring a squirt gun with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just pulling a yeah, squirt yeah, gun yeah. out. Your one personal item. I'm dying of thirst <laughs> over here, gun. but yeah, I got a water gun. No, look, here's the play, right? You hide out, you hide at the, the, the tribal council place, or whatever it's called, right? Yep, okay. And you hide the there. We'll go on. You hide there with, like, a super soaker, like a long-range super soaker. And then, when, and, but, and then you wait until it's the, the enemy team that's going there, right? Everyone lights their torches. This. Everyone lights their torches, and then you bust out, you... Get you snuff out all of their torches with your super soaker, and then you've just eliminated half the competition. <laughs> yeah, fire represents life. Fire represents your life. Sorry, so if, it, if, it, you're hey, if it, if hey, if you're a tribal council and there's a slight breeze, you better be careful because you could just be eliminated. <laughs> there are so many things wrong with what you just said. I'm also. Still convinced. I'm taking it too seriously. I am still convinced that they mean it literally, and that when they go off and they walk into the darkness, that there's just a guy there with a, like a gun, and just like bang. Uh, That's what we said. Nope. Yeah, and then the people that come back at the end for like the, clones. the uh, yeah, the clones. Yeah, yeah. sign a waiver that you're okay with being cloned for the yeah, so they can make people believe that you didn't die immediately after the show yeah. was over. Okay. Yeah, that's how I'm pretty sure Survivor works. All right, so here here's a question for you, Matt. Ready? Yeah. Uh, there is a season of Survivor where once you're voted out, there are ways of getting back in the game. And this one person basically gets voted out, comes back in the game, gets voted out again, comes back in the game, and then gets voted out a third time. Yeah. So was that three separate clones that were all killed, or uh, triplets. did that see... Oh, triplets. Okay. Yeah. That that was the secret theme of the season was all the players had triplets just in case. Yeah. <laughs> in the obviously. triplet season. Yeah, obviously. Well, it's like um, Survivor's never done. But Big Brother did a identical twins twist like that. No. I think where I there was that one player. Or oh, Love Island. They, they basically played as one player and swapped off like every other day. Oh really? And that, yeah, I think the gimmick was was if if they make it like a third of the way in the game, and no one has figured out that they are the same, that they are two separate people playing as one person, then both of them get to play the rest of the game as individuals, and they managed to do it. So both of them ended up playing the game at the same time then. And then, like, very quickly after, both of them were voted out, so. Oh. That's weird. It was a very creative twist. Big Brother has a lot of creative twists. Like, there was another twist, which was crazy, where Big Brother basically um, 
put two people in the house who had no idea they were related to each other. Wow. They were, bro they were brother and sister, and they didn't know. How does that... So like a bunch this... of foster kids? No, so this guy... Um, they're, they, ha they both have the same dad. But basically, he... He fathered one kid, but left while the mother was pregnant, and then completely moved to a separate place, lived a separate life uh, with his next family. Right. When he fathered a child, like, two years later. And wow. somehow, Big Brother was able to put the pieces together and realize that they were long lost, that they were basically siblings who had the same father wait the the, the show figured that out it wasn't yeah, the like show figured it out. what like i said the guy had no what the guy had no idea he had a sister the girl had no idea she had a brother did they know and... that their dad was a bad guy huh were they aware of what their dad like did just didn't um know the family so the guy all he knew was that his father had left um, him after having intercourse with his mother or whatever. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like they were married. Sure. Um, so okay. his father was never really a part of his life, but he was aware, but he didn't know what happened to his dad after. Sure, okay. And the girl, I don't think, ever knew that her father had another child. Ah. Uh, and they just both happened to... They both happened to, I think, apply to Big Brother. The same... Wow. Yeah. What? And what was actually crazy was... The show was like, so yeah, we're gonna see if they ever figure it out. And they figure it out within, like, six days! Well, wow. they probably just... They probably just, like... They probably just, like, said their dad's name or something. Or, like... Well, it started off, I think... I think the first sign was... The girl was telling a story about her father when, uh, as a veteran. And this was information that the guy also knew. And she mentioned something specific, which was like, he had his foot amputated or something during Vietnam. Oh. And that so nice. that kind of set alarms off for the guy, but he didn't want to say anything. Because, you know, that would be insane. Yeah. Yeah. But then, on a hunch, he asked what her dad's name was, and she told him. And then he just got real quiet, and then just did a lot of thinking about it for a day, and then told her about it. And at first, she was like, this is ridiculous. But then big, the show actually intervened, and uh, made it very clear that this was not him lying, this was true. And they had a written letter from the father explaining the whole situation. I'm surprised they did that. Why would they not just let it let it ride and see what happened? Probably it... because at that point, like, you don't want to destroy a potential family relationship. But that's good TV. Yeah, but this is also 2003. Like, it's not... It was a different. I'm just. I would have let it run. I think. <laughs> that's, I think that's. I think that's more interesting. Unless there was like a. What they do? They did they bring them both into that I'm like not. the conventional the confessional room or whatever. I think so. Yeah. That room I always seemed so, scary. Yeah. That room. That room always seemed weird to me when I was a kid watching the show. I was why I, I, I well one I think at the time I didn't understand I didn't I don't think at the time I un didn't I don't think I understood that they were probably recorded later and then edited in so I was I, I think when I was a kid I was like why did they just leave the conversation to go talk about the conversation <laughs> that they're having uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like that'd be so weird and then I'm like would it be so weird if you were just like uh like talking shit about someone? And then you leave the confessional booth and then they go in or like you get into an argument with someone 
and you both storm away angrily to go to the confessional booth at the same time. And you just know you're talking about each other. <laughs> like, well, that just seems so, so weird to me. So it's funny you say that because Survivor sort of does something similar to that. And it screwed players over before. Yeah, well, Survivor is just, Where, you just, you just go off somewhere. Well, so the way Survivor works in that regard is they have confessionals and they have two types of confessionals. The first is um, on a, on a day where they don't have any challenge. They'll basically take every person one by one and do like an hour's worth of confessionals about everything that's happened over the last few days. And that's the majority of the confessionals you see. However, they also occasionally will do what they call like on-the-fly confessionals. And those are the ones that have got people in trouble. Where, let's say, for example, two people have an argument, right? Right in the middle of camp, okay? Yeah. They both storm off, okay? Mm hmm And you were just sitting there watching this argument. Production will run right over to you and be like, all right, you just witnessed that argument. What's your thoughts? And all of a sudden, the two people who are mad see production talking to you and now you're on their radar having witnessed that fight <laughs> and now it's like you're in the hot seat too for no reason yeah and then yeah that's uh yeah that's yeah that wouldn't that be i feel like that would be like too like invasive like when like couldn't like you question the integrity of like the game at that point? Well, I guess it's reality TV show. It's always in question. But I feel like that's kind of screwed up. I mean, I feel like, sur like, shows like just... Survivor and Big Brother do their best to make it so that the game is as fair as it can be and the fact that they're recording it as a TV show doesn't hinder your ability to play the game how you want. They do their best. However, they have to also do certain things, you know. Like they can't, they can't just not film certain things. Yeah. So, I mean, Big Brother, it's a lot less noticeable because, you know, Big Brother, the entire house is just full of cameras. You can literally just do whatever you want. Um. And for the most part, very rarely will, like, production really intervene. Production really only intervenes if there's, like, fighting. Has there ever been a fist fight on Big Brother? Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Dude, you want to talk about some... All right, so you ready for this? So I want to I wanna go on Big Brother just to fight this, someone. This is about... This is really dark and screwed up, okay? Oh. So, the first season of Big Brother is basically really bad and it has nothing and it's nothing like any other season of big brother so many people don't even consider it really the first season of big brother the real first season is more like big brother 2 okay okay and big brother 2 is this beloved season people love it and yet the way it starts is so dark where in the first, like, five days, all the... Yeah, everything's going fine until a notice comes up on the screen. Out of nowhere, okay? And it basically says something along the lines of, over the course of night three, this player was ejected out of the house for serious safety issues and it turned out that him and this girl had been drinking alcohol all night getting completely drunk blackout drunk right yeah. and this guy in his drunken state made a joke about how he could kill her or something mm. and then pulled out a knife and held it at her throat Jesus. And remember, Big Brother has live cameras. 
Now, yeah, what? this is in the middle of the night, so not many people saw this live, but the footage is out there. Wow. And so immediately production intervened. They had a confessional with the girl the next morning, and she doesn't remember anything. She was confused why he was ejected, because she couldn't remember that at all. And production didn't want to intervene with the show at all, so they didn't tell her until after she had left the house. Huh. But yeah, that was dark. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. It was beyond dark. And I know there's been other players ejected from Big Brother, but, like, I've only seen the first, like, seven or eight seasons of Big Brother. So there's, like, another, like, 13 or 14 that I just don't know what happens. The only other player I know about getting ejected was someone who, like, started a fist fight. But otherwise, yeah, no. Did you know that um uh what's it, what's the guy's name? Oh, what's Obama. his name? The, not Obama. The guy that the guy that oh. was just really big that was just really big for being like super sex sex yeah, sexist and Ben Shapiro. Trump, hustler universe. Oh, Andrew Tate. Oh, Andrew Tate, yeah. You know he was on uh, Big Brother? That, what? Yeah, he was on Big yeah, Brother. Yeah, well, I had heard that. I had heard that. Yeah. I don't think wasn't it was it? A, it was it wasn't American Big Brother, I don't Yeah, think. it was UK Big Brother, right? Yeah. Hey, Robbie, you don't have you don't have any kids at school that talk about Andrew Tate, do they? Do you? I wanted to ask no. you that a couple oh. of weeks ago. I've never heard anyone. It's I've never heard anyone mention that name before. Oh, That's okay. Because I was thinking about because I was thinking about it. I was going to ask you some other time, but I I don't think I ever got to it. That like you're no. like that's like middle school, so that's like that's within the Prime range. Demographic. Yeah, that's the demographic. So I was wondering if like you'd ever it like heard any now, kids it, say anything it's about it. possible that they said the name and I just didn't pay attention because I didn't know Yeah, to pay attention. I mean, I had only heard uh, him for the first time a couple weeks ago, like maybe a week before we started the podcast. Oh, lucky. Um, that's when, like, I had really heard about him. So yeah. I and I had also heard that his prime demographic was like middle school age kids. So I was so I said to myself, Oh, I'm gonna keep an ear out to see or to hear if uh, anyone says anything, but no one has. Hmm. Well, that's good, I guess. I guess. And that's obviously, good. that's not something where I'm just gonna bring it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, we got any tater tots in the class? Any hey, any top uh... G's in this class? <laughs> <Any tot? laughs> Yo, yeah. I was thinking about signing up for the Hustle University. Is the fifty bucks worth it? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Like, where are you, where are you getting the fifty dollars a month? <laughs> You're a child. child. <laughs> I remember I read a uh, story on Reddit from a teacher, and how her kids were just literally, they were so bad with like obsessed with Andrew Tate that they got to the point where Lily wouldn't read like any book assignments if it was written by a woman. I think I yeah, I know I heard that. I heard that if too. That like if, were to if, happen. Then I imagine there would need to be either a, I mean, depending on the number of students involved, yeah. that could warrant like an entire school wide assembly. Yeah, that's just, yeah. yeah. Like that is well beyond <laughs> what a teacher can hear. That is, yeah, like, that that is, and, that's, that's, and that's just such that's like, absurd. and like, there's no way that any te anyone that's been like teaching for a while, there's no way they'd be prepared on how to handle that because it's no. such a new thing. It's like so. There's no, this guy. No, no, there's this no. the, guy? So the manner in which they are learning to be sexist would be new. However, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying that they've never dealt with sexism before. <laughs> right. Like That's, no, I'm saying that 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 you you would if you explain to if you tried to explain to them who Andrew Tate was and why he had this influence. And like what he did and how he did it, that's not something that they would ever have encountered before. Yeah. No, of course. They don't know how to deal with some online influencer who's telling kids that women are property. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. So like, there could be like, wait, what? I it's... don't understand. So, like, I, I have I haven't looked too much into the sky because of obvious you're, reasons. You're smart, and you're already um, like super late, so you wait, might as well. <laughs> what he streams on Twitch? No, no. So, how are they hearing? He's on TikTok. Pretty much. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, the YouTube. So why have these platforms not said anything? Oh, they did. Like, they, is, they did. His, is it? Is his? Oh, they did. Well, what they did they do? Him, they banned him yeah. on everything last month. Yeah. That's oh. Cool. Yeah. So that's why you're saying you're a little late to the party because you literally yeah. banned on everything you could think of, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably why I started hearing about him, was because he was banned. Yeah. Maybe. Probably. So then, if that's the case, then like, are they still? It, it, does he still have a platform somewhere, or uh, yeah? Is he so basically done? one big uh, Fox thing? News. Yeah, he has been doing well, that. Kids aren't gonna listen to Fox. Well if, Andrew, well, if they were fans of him, and then they find Matt, out, Matt, 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 middle schoolers are not listening to news. Period. Regardless of if it's Fox, CNN, or what, they can if they're told. If they're told that someone they like is on, that they're on it, there's a chance that they will. I don't see why they wouldn't. They have also, the technology. Just hit the internet. Yeah. Also, <laughs> he still exists in like on these on the platforms of like fan posting and stuff because he had the whole multi level marketing scheme. Yeah. Uh, Wait. So, what? Yeah. That was, his, his whole... that, was his, that was the real big thing about Dude, him. this guy gets the... worse and worse. The sex yeah. was just trying to cherry on top. That was just who he was. <laughs> Yeah, that was his like, well, his yeah, that. Yeah, he basically just fed into the insecurities of. For, of teenage boys and right, saying that like young adults as well. Yeah, basically saying that women is women are the problem in your life. Yeah. They're, they're the root of all of all problems and you got to be an alpha or whatever. But his whole thing were like. He had the the, the classes, which was just discord. Uh, yeah, but you like there was Discord. Yeah, and it wasn't even him teaching most of them. No, but he the mult the he had the thing where it was like if you like post his stuff around and you get people to sign up, then you get paid for it. Yeah, if definition people referral, if people use your it's referral, that, that's like, just a pyramid. Yes, definite definition of like you know multi level, yeah. whatever, 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 whatever. Yeah, he was, but kids um, don't 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 fall for pyramids. Hey, uh, listeners to the podcast, women are cool. Bold take, uh, but you know he was on Big Brother. Uh, yeah, but I think he was also kicked off of Big Brother. Yeah, he got kicked. He got kicked off for uh, some things that uh, have not been confirmed that he may or may not have done. Yeah, I think most, I think most likely starting. I, from what I read, I think he was kicked off before the sh season began. No, he was on the show. He, oh, he got he on the was show. Actually, on the show. Yeah, there's actually uh, there's this one YouTuber that I really like that makes like uh, documentaries about like internet culture and stuff. Uh, his name's Jay Aubrey. He makes really good like documentaries that goes into in depth, and he did a whole thing on Andrew Tate. And there's clips of him in Sur not Survivor on Big Brother. And it's really funny because he's like trying to talk strategy, but then people just keep talking over him and he just gets quiet. <laughs> and then he tries to say something and he gets quiet again. Like, and then <laughs> it was just so stupid. And I'm like, damn, he really was a fake the whole time. That's crazy. Oh boy. No, but that's dated at this point. That's internet dated. Oh. It's all it's all it's already done. Yeah. 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 Now we're just part. waiting for the new guy. Yeah, yeah next dude i'm, I'm waiting yeah. for the i'm waiting for the peterson comeback he's always around he's always yeah. tickling around mm -hmm. a little bit yeah yeah he'll still show his little face again he's kind of like the in-between guy yeah oh, every... the, the new hotness goes away so you got to go back to the og before the Wait, new hotness who? goes back uh jordan peterson i don't think i know that chance. he's like uh just just lump him in with Ben. Sh if you think, be just lump him up with Ben Shapiro. Oh, and you're good. Yeah, ben Shapiro, okay. Crowder, pretty much. Yeah. Except whole... he talks like Kermit, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> he does. Okay. Nah. Yeah. The whole uh, the the whole 
uh, you know, all right, YouTube pipeline. He's yeah. he's a he's a star in that. Yeah, he's one of the, the one of the big players. YouTube's fun. I YouTube don't. Fun. I'm I'm so glad their internet is so easily accessible. I'm glad that we that not only do we have the internet, but that kids have access to it. Yeah. And and, and you know, growing up with, I don't know. I feel like. Like this is what they're doing with their unrestricted access to the internet. Like really? You, you I was want, playing you want... that. I was playing that game where you filled up a box with sand, and it all this was just different sand colors. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! They still do that game. I was Let's go. actually the, 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 the kids are all right. <laughs> um, the youth is you, there's a chance. You, you want to talk about how bad the youth are? I shit you not, I was talking to um, another employee at the school I was subbing at, and she had made the comment where she said, you want to feel really old? I had a student legitimately ask me what a textbook was. No A no middle shot. school student. No shot. I don't Didn't know what a textbook was. You didn't know what a textbook was. Because all of their classes, their material would always be on the Chromebook. Oh. They've never needed textbooks. Oh my god. They only learn from cr these Chromebooks now. And so they, sixth grade, didn't know what a textbook was. So imagine you take the, you take the Chromebook, but you print it out every screen. I, I. And you put that in a a book you know what a that, book is that blew my mind i'm like what I, time is I, now old man <laughs> oh my goodness there were used to be uh I, i'm telling you we <clears throat> we should have been born either like 10 years early or 10 years later than we were like late 90s Four. was not the time to be born early 90s or like mid 2000s i'm I'm pretty cool with the time I was born in. Yeah. Not lie. Yeah. How's that? Um, I am not obsessed with TikTok. You're the tiger bar. No, we yeah. were just obsessed with Vine. Yeah, but Vine wasn't as bad. Vine was. I good. feel like nah. Vine wasn't as bad because Vine only lasted like a year. Nah, Vine was. Vine was... Not... Nah, Vine was before its time. It was good. Vine was about the casual before racism. Its time. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? The casual racism. It's casual racism on Vine. I don't remember oh, that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just had the white people just openly saying the N word. <laughs> the white people. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's a problem. But then, like, and then people of certain races playing deeply into their stereotypes a lot. Yeah. No, yeah. you're right. Actually, forgot about that. <laughs> that's yeah. kind of yucky. <laughs> I actually, yeah, really lucky. I, I actually forgot about that. And now they're like the big content creators nowadays. <laughs> well, yeah, now that I but... think about it, maybe the watermelon guy wasn't as funny as I thought he was. <laughs> He's from here. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. Like I, won't, I won't say this. Like our city. <laughs> or around here at least. What? There's... I think no. like, maybe not the city, but I think like close enough. Because he filmed this is a video that he did that was filmed like in downtown. No. But, like if you watch it's like, hey, wait a second, I know that street. There's no Wait, way I could go oh. there right now. Yeah, my brother was like a big fan. He showed me. A so thing. what I'm hearing is we can get him on the podcast. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Again, I might have gone too far with this city, but he's pretty close by. That's crazy. That's crazy. It is. Also, I never really put the the idea that that's what the that's where the joke was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? because he's because he's because he's black and he has watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> I never, I never, I never really put that together. Now that I think about it, I was just like, "Oh, he says the he says the fruit with the funny name." Yeah, you, you know, part That's part cool. of me is surprised that you hadn't heard anything, and part of me is glad that you didn't put two and two together. Well, from well, I was just like, well, I, well, I was like, well, this guy just really likes watermelon, and I do too. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I, watermelon I was like, is great. It's I was like, well, just like that connotation. It's a shame been. that you can't have it. That's crazy. <laughs> for, 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 for so, uh, on an unrelated topic, Matt, what's your opinion of fried chicken? It's great. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's great, 
yeah, it's good. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm checking it's good. Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty good. I agree. Wouldn't have it all the time, though. It's a little yeah. much. I'll say, like, getting it around here is kind of meh. So you ever? I forget what the post I was reading was, but basically it was someone that was like, who had visited the United States for the first time and had like, had like barbecue or something, and they were talking about how good it was, and they were like, "Where'd you have it?" And there was like, "Oh, like some, like some northern state, mm-hmm. like around here," and they're like, "Okay, let me show you one thing. It gets better. You had the <laughs> bad. You had the bad fret. You had the bad one." Yeah. <laughs> like, the go, go, like go like he's like what? Cuz they were like they were like so it was like so they were like this is like one of the greatest things I've ever eaten. It's like being like where did you get oh where did you get the uh where did you get the fried chicken? Oh, you know, you know like you know Boston. You know. Uh, you know, this place called KFC. It's like yeah. On our on our road trip, there was a there was a couple fast food places that we visited where one of the like sides you could get, like instead of fries, for example, was fried okra, and that was so good. That was pretty good. What is okra? I, I don't. Uh, know. Okra is like a vegetable. Yeah, it's some sort of vegetable. It's like a vegetable of sorts, and they just fried it. Nice. It was just so good. I was like, I need to figure out where we can get fried okra around here. <laughs> You talk about like the different uh, like foods in different places and stuff. I remember when we were in New Orleans. We went to a, like a bar for dinner, and we we're getting oh. we we're getting po boys. Oh, and he, you're not and, okay. And uh, as we were ordering it, the waiter asked us, uh, "You okay with spice? You okay with the spicy?" And I was like, uh, "How spicy is spicy?" He goes, "Oh, it depends where you're from." I'm like Massachusetts. You're so mild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, way to, way to call me out, but yeah. You're right. No, no, you're they're one hundred percent right. Yeah. Oh no, they're right, but it was funny. Yeah, we didn't disagree, but it was still funny. And and you know what, Matt? I think it was just the right amount of spiciness for us. <laughs> okay. They do. I, I like that. Here's my problem with it though. Their mild was just putting nothing on it. <laughs> like, that's not yeah, mild. You, there's just it was bare. Was that I don't? Yeah, there was nothing. Put any anything spicy at all on it. It was just bare. Uh, bare. And I was like, okay, come I, on. I, I don't remember. Listen, I get haha, white guy from Massachusetts, but they put a little bit of salt on there. This isn't. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of salt. That's bad. yeah. Yeah, that's oh, classic. Man. That's funny. The little salt, a little bit of pepper. I- I thought oh, you were going to talk about how about the bar afterward where I waited 15 to 20 minutes for mozzarella sticks only to be told I wasn't getting them and I had to get a refund. Yeah, no, because I didn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think you did, but then you started talking and I'm like, wait, is that what he's talking about? It's a weird yeah. thing to bring he's gonna, up. He's going to bring up he really does care. <laughs> I just thought it was weird that he was bringing that up. No, I had ordered these mozzarella sticks, and they're like, all right, it'll be like five minutes. And then five minutes later, they're like, it's five minutes. And then five minutes later, they're like, it's five minutes. And then like five minutes later, the manager comes to me and is like, all right, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, The cook started cleaning up the kitchen, and I can't convince them to get you your mozzarella sticks. Oh, Oh, you know what? And I was like, you know what? I understand. Can I just have my money back? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, she was real nice about it. Oh, you know what? It was... 100% agree. Oh, yeah, definitely. I I don't blame them. I just wish I didn't have to wait 15 minutes. Hey, if it means anything, it sounds like for those 15 minutes, she was fighting for you back there. (laughs) Uh, Come on. Come on. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Because I knew I was cutting it close, because I was ordering them at, like, it was, like, not a little after nine. Yeah. So, I mean, I knew it was, like, very possible that the kitchen could be closed or closing. But, 
I was so happy to be getting mozzarella sticks, and then I didn't get mozzarella sticks. And then the very next night, I got fucked over in a very similar way. Uh, what was that one again? Uh, I was gonna... Uh, I went to a supermarket while you were at the campsite. Right, yeah. Or I went and uh, I was going to get us a little dessert there. Mm-hmm. And online it said that they closed at 9 and it was 8.50. And I get there and they're like, no, nah, we're closed. I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, oh, our new hours. We closed at 8 now. It's like, we'll update your hours online. Because I'd driven like 12 miles out of the way. Wow. We were in the middle of rural as fuck Florida. No super close supermarket is like 20 miles away. It's like, are you kidding me? That was a fun place, though, where we camped. Yeah, that was was the place where we got the free wine. Yeah. That was also the place with the suicidal peacock. What? Yeah. Yeah. So we drove, I drive up to, I'm driving up to the place and. First thing we see as we're going through like a driveway is a peacock, which is shocking by itself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think so, in hindsight, it's not as shocking. I think I, it's normalish in the area. Okay, sure. But you know, we're like not Georgia used to seeing wild peacocks. So it was yeah, just a peacock us. walking around. Yeah. So yeah, there's a peacock there. So anyways, we're trying to drive past it, and the peacock is just like walking directly next to the car. Like right next to us, and every so often, it would start to like run towards the wheel. That's dr- while I'm driving, <laughs> like it's ducking under and walking towards the wheel. So I'm like stopping every so often because like, I don't want to hit this peacock. <laughs> but every single task, like I stop, I drive, it runs right to the wheel. <laughs> I stop, I drive, it goes to the wheel. And it's like I'm just yelling at this peacock, like back off. I don't trying need to... this right now. I'm no, trying not to I, hurt I, you. Dude, yeah. trying to get you for your insurance money, dude. Yeah, and then. We get a little close to the house. Peacock still following us. Me still stopping and starting every second. Suddenly, there's two dogs running at us. Chases the peacock away, but starts running around our car. I had to. I put the car in park. I was like Robert, find us a human right now. <laughs> I, I can't deal with this anymore. Go find me a human. Uh, I don't know if that's quite how he phrased it, but that's basically what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Go find what the owner of the dog. I, I thought. Dustin, I thought that it was two. Ca- the two cats came up to us, and then you said, "Go find me a human." And then I found a human with two dogs. No, the two dogs came running after us, chased the peacock away, then started running around in circles around the car. Oh, you know what? That's what it was. Yeah, the I, cats were yeah. a little after when we were getting the tour. Yeah. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's cr- so you know, you know what's a weird thought? Now that I think about it, Dustin. Yeah. Um, you know the, uh, you know the, uh, meme where, the, um, Phineas and Ferb meme, where it's like, if I had a nickel for every time this happened, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird, it happened twice. Oh, yeah. How is it that on our trip, we saw two wild peacocks on opposite sides of the country? Yeah. One in Florida and one in California. Wait, they just exist? Like, they just hang out? Well, actually, to be fair, it was, at the, it was, at, the San Diego. It was just at the entrance of the San Diego Zoo. Yeah. <laughs> is it like is it like turkeys around here? Maybe. Maybe. Except in both California and Florida, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Southern in California and Florida. I don't. I don't know. Well, you are, know, they, are, they, peacock, are peacocks the southern turkey? The, Maybe. Tur- the turkey of the south. <laughs> Man, yeah, let me tell you, the, the south lucked the out. South? Yeah, they lucked out. They got. Good. Good. Yeah, they got the pretty bad. one. Yeah. But we like, get these stupid turkeys that make us late I, for I, school. Sometimes. I also like how turkey tastes. And I don't think I've ever, ever eaten, eaten peacock? peacock. Yeah, don't knock it till you try it. I also haven't eaten cock, so. Damn. Dang, I'm missing out. I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, I'm missing out. Turkey for that record. So. Well, You've had peas, well what, do you, what, what do you think peacock is? Oh no! Oh no! Well, I'm the I'm the buy one, so I guess I'll take one for the team. No one ever said no one. You don't have to do that. I'll, I mean, if you don't, if all right, you don't we'll do it. Okay, thanks, Matt. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, you fam. All right. I'm always there. I'm always there. I'm always there to help. He may not take a bullet from me, but he'll take. Um... Oh, I'll do. Oh, I mean, if you I mean, if you want me to. 
Uh, I think it would be really bad if I said, yes, I want my uh, person of color friend to take a bullet for me. Or just my friend. Yeah. Or just my friend. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need to no, 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 say that. You no, could just say my friend. You could just say me. Like me as a person, not me as... You know, you Matt know. the human being. <laughs> yeah, not me. Yeah, you know. Matt, my I mean, five-fifths as a person. <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah, five-fifths. Full person. Thanks, Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you... Never mind. I earned those other two. <laughs> yeah, you earned those two fifths. <laughs> he personally has earned those two fifths. Yeah. Oh my god. Why? Nothing. Oh, just me. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh boy. Almost, almost died. Almost, died. almost died. It's um. It's really screwed up though. Uh, that I've had to have, like, serious thoughts about, like, what I would do if, like, there was, like, a shooter situation at the schools while I'm subbing them. Do you ever see the memes that Gen Z are making about that? I don't That's think I want to. And yeah. I don't think I want to hear about that. No, it's, just, it's, it's not even, like, like, it's not even, like, <clears throat> like surface level bad. Like, it's just, like, what schools think the intruder's gonna do. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. When they see a bunch of, yeah, when they see no, a bunch it's of room. Horrible. Look, like, surface level, it's like, it just makes sense to them. Here, and they're just the making thing, jokes okay? about things that they know. But, like, here's the thing, okay, is I've already made the decision. Like, you know, if there's a drill, then I do exactly everything that the school tells me to do. If there's an actual situation... I do everything the school tells me to do, but I'm also standing at that door with a metal water bottle ready to bash a head at a Dude. Right. Water bottle? Like, I ain't going down without a fight. Yeah. You want to get to these kids, you're going through me first. Like, what's, the, what's the really expensive, uh, like, water, like, metal water bottle brand? Uh, I don't remember. I know you're talking about, but. Like, the name brand one? Yeah. I think the one I have. Yeah, what's the one you have? Uh, Let's see if it's, is it the bougie one? Leak your water bottle. No. Uh, let me. Sucks. I'd have to go buy. Actually, it's, I know. It's I kind know. of scary thought that that the age that you know typical school shooters are now they know the lockdown procedure. Yeah, I'm gonna that stay away for a quick that. suck. That isn't. Yeah, that is another thing. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like now, <laughs> like, what do you do? And schools definitely aren't preparing for that. No, no, no. They, they, I think they're just get they're just they're just figuring out what social media is, dude. I think they finally figured out like that that gum isn't like the worst thing on the planet. You, you know what? I I realized I'm a fool because yes, the water bottle I have is a name brand, uh, but it's like Eddie Bauer. Oh. Eddie Bauer? It's the name of the store. Oh. Uh, but, uh, there, yeah, there's it's like YouTuber. good metal. There's Especially specific, with biscuits full of water. There's a specific brand that's like Hydro Flask. That's what it's called. Yeah, Hydro Flask. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, gonna, gonna beat him up the Hydro. <laughs> hey, get, hey, good thing you got hey, the joke out hey, now. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, hey, Tiffany give, bring a Hydro Flask. <laughs> Remember... I didn't see it, but one time a gym teacher at school during a drill, like, had his, a flag in his hands, like the American flag. What? Was that? what? He was just ready to pounce with it. Oh, like the like it had like the, sh the sharp like the end on the end or something. End? Yeah, well, he's holding oh. the whole flag, but he was ready to jab someone with the pointy end. Here's the uh, thing, okay? The gym teacher couldn't if find something better. If <laughs> you're gonna do something like that. You need to be absolutely sure that it's not a drill. Actually, um, his I don't remember the situation because he he did like somewhat lunge at a teacher that came in to tell me it was okay from what I heard. Yeah, because if it or you not let, let me rephrase that. Not only do I think you need to be sure that it's not a drill, but because you need to be sure it's like an active shooter situation. Yeah, because. You can have a legitimate lockdown without it being an active shooter situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I don't remember. For, 
as an example, this is an actual story I heard about um, a couple weeks ago. Was this parent who was upset that their child was being held for detention one day or whatever, right? So at the end of the school day, what they did, and they thought this was a good idea, was they approached the school. And, you know, you're supposed to check in at the front desk. And they just kind of run past the front desk. They don't say why they're there. They don't say who they are. They just run into a school. And... That could easily just have become a lockdown situation. It didn't, but it absolutely could have. Yeah. Because you don't know what's going on, and you have to be careful. What are they going to do? They just, they just run in, they're going to run in, grab the kid, run out? Like no one was going to see them? Yeah, like, well, I, 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 I think the idea was no one's going to stop me from taking my kid. My kid's going to... Who's going to stop a random stranger running into a school and grabbing a child? Right. Like, he didn't <laughs> think this through clearly. Like... <laughs> well, so that's why I'm like, it's a not. weird situation. Because it's like... You know, in that kind of a situation, there's no immediate danger, but it's not a drill either. Like, yeah. did, did they not be like, hey, my kid can't so, do detention. They have a doctor's appointment. Yeah. Let me bring them to the doctors, please. And they and generally, you like, would know if there was an actual situation. Like within that's like that's crazy. Because if there was a here's the thing, if there's an actual situation going on within five minutes of that lockdown going on, you're here. Yeah. Yeah, it always did seem like. Uh... Like security, was it security theater? Isn't that like the name of it? Like that's a thing. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's well, security theater is like, I mean, I think it, I think it's mainly talked about like TSA and stuff. Yeah. Like how it doesn't yeah, really yeah. doesn't it doesn't it doesn't do doesn't anything. Do anything. Yeah. But just Let's it's just, just there. To make you feel safe. Yeah, that's 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 always the vibe I kind of got from it. I guess. Yeah. It's, it's like, like uh, uh, it's like duck and cover. Oh, like that that's gonna save you from a Yeah, like from that's a, from a nuclear from an blast. Atomic bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. I saw one of those videos where You know the song, right? There's a song? The radioactive. <laughs> radioactive. <laughs> not, 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 quite. No. Uh. not not quite. There's a there's a song. It's like duck and cover. Everything will be alright. I not heard of this. And, uh, it's like a song about that's stuck in cover, and then one's like, you like, it's like you're, it's basically, and then like, I don't remember how the lyrics go, but it basically says like, tell your parents that you found the way to keep this family from turning from becoming an ashtray. It's oh like my a lyric god! That. <laughs> I'm like that's cover, duck and cover. That's not true at all. <laughs> like that's so funny. I think it was no, like, uh, so, yeah, it was um. I had a weird bit where my where Spotify kept recommending me like uh, songs from like that era because uh, I listened to a lot of uh, Fallout yes. Fallout music like Fallout Radio. Mm -hmm. So I was getting a bunch of like you know, bunch of uh, like just one song that's about uh, mining for uranium that's from Fallout Four that I really like. No, what I remember was the was a um a video <laughs> of the duck and cover. But it, it was like a boy and a girl walking by walking on a street or something. And it's like the girl's probably like six, the boy's probably like nine, maybe ten. And you see the white flash of light. And this and there's an announcer who's like, remember kids, duck and cover. This Nine-year-old boy decks this girl into a brick wall. What? What? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's not ducky <laughs> and or covering. <laughs> what are you talking about? He didn't do either of the two things. I, I, I'm not kidding. I saw this in a high school class, and I think I started laughing. Dude, that's that's funny. Because <laughs> I was like, this is insane. <laughs> I, 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 hey, he's like, he's like, he's like duck and cover. What? Oh, I thought that meant like. Oh, I thought we were like sparring. Like I thought that was like. <laughs> oh, it's not. From, it's not from my fist. It's from a. Don't, don't tuck and cover for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I those don't commies do don't it. those commies burn those commies burn <laughs> duck and cover from my fist. Oh my god, <laughs> that would be such a. It was. Weird. Be such, that would be a thing a middle school boy would think. <laughs> like yeah, like no, I could. <laughs> like you know how like there's that. If you if you remember when we like you do lockdown drills and like you're like oh if someone came in the room right now I could stop them oh yeah <laughs> yeah like this is how and this is how I would do it and you, know, you figure out you figure out the whole route it's like that but they're like yeah I could stop it I could stop a nuclear I could stop an atomic weapon I'm just built different I would simply so, just stop it I would I would simply just point it back I would just tell it to go home and I would just intimidate it. I could do it. I'm just, you know, I, I think I could handle the radiation. <laughs> I'm and I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah that, I, that next yeah. podcast hosted from Chernobyl. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's like, yeah, Noah, no, like if, if someone. Okay, first of all, if someone if, if someone comes in here first, uh, I'm waiting by the door, even though I'm not standing there right now. I'm waiting by the door if they come in. I, I disarm them. Mm-hmm. And then they and then they try to and then they they try to take Sydney hostage, but then they fucked up because I've had a crush on Sydney. Sydney. I've had a crush on Sydney since third grade, so that was their mistake. (laughs) So then I you crush on Sydney. So then I rescue Sydney, and then while I'm making out with Sydney, I'm beating the I'm beating him up, and then we go to McDonald's later. Matt, I'm and just I have saying, a girlfriend. Just saying, you're starting to sound like a follower of Andrew T. No, because he no, he was, <laughs> no, very, quite no, the all opposite. would end with him hitting the woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he would not. He, he would not have. He would not. He would be like, nah, not worth it. Yeah, you're not part of the grind is, set. Not man, making is, money. Is is there? Can, hmm. I'm trying to think about how to phrase this, if I want to phrase this at all. Uh, is there a female equivalent to Andrew Tate? Uh, there's fem cells, I guess, but it's not nearly as bad as what Andrew Tate does. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. No, they gotta really reach. You gotta really, you gotta really, you gotta really reach for that. Yeah. I would just take. Yeah. I would just be like any any like Republican, and just be like, that's probably the further you're gonna get. What's what's guess, the yeah. what's the big what's the big politicians and right now marjorie taylor marjorie taylor whatever. marjorie titan green female <laughs> uh female republican wise probably marjorie taylor green and like um, sarah lauren, lauren bobert oh and her yeah Bobert. yeah just yeah just yeah that's probably what you're gonna look for that's yo you i know you guys don't necessarily follow politics as well as i do i just wait for a sign to tell me what um, to think <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> here, dude, oh, no, <laughs> dude, I was legitimately um, watching a Hassan video, him talking about like why it's to- why it's totally okay to make fun of the queen dying, and I'm like, <laughs> I would totally use this to it. I like, I can't. I was like, I was like, damn, this would ex- this this explained it perfectly, but I'm not gonna be the guy that like is in a conversation <laughs> about politics. And he's like, here, just watch just a solid video, and it'll explain my entire point. The, the, the little socialist we... in my pocket told me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what I was Robert, gonna what, s- uh, yeah. what I was gonna say was uh, about a couple weeks ago, Alaska held a special election. Oh yeah, they did. Oh yeah, I know about that. Oh, yeah. yeah, they did. And Palin lost. Let's go. She came out of she came out of whatever hole she was hiding in. 
Ranked choice yeah, voting. So Let's go. They had, um, I think it was like one of their representatives had passed away earlier this year. Yeah. So they needed to hold a special election to determine who would carry out the remainder of his term. Keeping yeah. in mind, the term ends in like January. So yeah. it's like, who's going to be the does, representative? Does really give me another, does really give me another election in November, I'm pretty sure. Right. But, but the Republican lost. Palin lost. Yeah, both Republicans lost. Right. And that's interesting because Alaska is a pretty Republican state. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, is Alaska getting Democratic now? Maybe that's what happens when you get ranked choice voting sometimes. Let's go. Yeah, it's crazy what happened. Oh, yeah, because it was all because of the ranked choice voting. Yeah. I remember I had a whole discussion with my parents about why ranked choice voting is a good thing. Oh, man. Could have had and, that. like, my Could dad have. disagreed with me, and my mom was just mm-hmm. confused. So like, what, do you, I, wait, do you disagree, I, Dustin? Like, I vote for. One I disagree person? with disagreeing with ranked choice voting. Why? I like ranked he, choice voting. I think it's yeah. good. Oh yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, okay. He, dis- so you're he dis- you agree with? He, he, he yeah, said he I, disagreed with okay. disagreeing with it. Well, uh, I didn't see the double. I didn't understand why he did the double negative. That's how confusion erupts. I also disagree with um, disagreeing with disagreeing with disagreeing about ranked choice voting. Yeah. But no, ranked choice <laughs> voting is a very good thing. Yes. Very good thing. And I'm still but... very annoyed that we voted no against Don in Massachusetts. <laughs> we really did. I, I, I still Dude, hold that grudge. Not I'm only still did, furious. Not only did we, but it wasn't even close. People did. I, no, I'm, yeah. I'm sure people didn't know what it was. No, no, it was. I, it was I, like, I it was like 50 50 or something. Or like 55 45. I thought it was like 65 35 or even worse than that. No, that, I think that was the, um, the, uh, the right to repair law. Like that passed with like seventy to thirty, and then ranked choice voting was like down the wire for the whole time. I I, I forget was the right to repair something good to pass or bad to pass. Good, good. to pass. It was good to okay. pass. But it was also like a no one was gonna disagree with that thing really. Yeah. I because I I forgot how that one was worded, but it was worded a little weird. It's kind of like you can go to any. Uh, machinist to fix your car or whatever like you don't have yeah, like yeah. i don't have to go to ford to fix my ford truck i can go anywhere well yeah. i think the, yeah but that only applied to cars right this specific one only applied to cars yeah yeah we we, we need a you, you know you know what really needs to have right to repair is fucking my iPhones. Oh. yes absolutely like and really all technology I am I I think I'm officially at the point, by the way, where my next phone is not gonna be an iPhone. Let's go. I, I think I'm officially going on to the Android train. Good. Because I the, I, I think I had a revelation the other day where I was like, wait a minute. I make fun of people for using an Apple computer because it sucks ass. And I also think that my Apple phone sucks ass. Why do I have an Apple phone? <laughs> I'm like, I like every I have so many issues that would easily be fixed by it not being an Apple product. Yeah, That's man. Funny. So, I'm... you know, I, you know, this phone still has a number of years left in it. So I'll there still probably keep it for another couple of years. But uh, I think my next phone is not going to be an iPhone. Yeah. I think I'm I, yeah, I feel like the I feel like the uh, the ecosystem is just like it's too it's too hard to even get into now, I feel. Like what if you, you want to get if you want to get into like the Apple ecosystem, like to actually get use out of it, you have to spend like so much money. Yeah. What what do like, you mean by ecosystem, though? Ecos that's it's like you have an you have an an iPhone, so you get you have an iPhone, so you get a Apple, you get a Mac, because it just works. They work together. No. And then when you need a and then when you need a tablet, you're like, oh, I'm just well, might as well just get an iPad. And then when you want a yeah. smartwatch, you're like, oh, well, I I just should just get a get Apple Watch. iWatch, yeah. <clears throat> and then basically everything works together, and then you're just right. like, and then you're kind of every. Stuck. 
And then everything works. Because if you want to replace every, one, then you need to replace them all. And then everything works together. Your messages are all, like, there. And, like, it, you know, you just get... You, you don't have... You would be hard... You'd be kind of, like, hurting yourself to get something outside of it. And, and it's funny that that's how you phrase it. Because here's the situation I found myself in. Was I got an Apple phone... Never got an Apple computer because I knew there was shit. Never got a tablet because I never wanted a tablet. And I still don't want it. Never got a smartwatch because I don't have the luxury of just being able to go get one. That shit costs money. <laughs> I got one. Great, it was and so it's also not an Apple I've had too. to deal with connecting my Apple phone to a Windows computer... And Matt, remember how I said I have a lot of issues with the iPhone? Over yeah. half of them are because the iPhone is almost designed to make it as painful as possible to connect to a fucking Windows computer. It is. Whether Apple it's really with photos, whether it's with music, it don't matter. It is painful. Dude, Apple knows this. And do you guys know you guys know about the the bubbles? The text bubbles? Yeah. Um about like uh, how it's blue uh, and green. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's yeah. like you know that's like Apple's fault, right? I don't like, I don't understand why some are blue and some are green. So okay. I don't know what that means. I can explain it very quickly. So okay. basically, early text messaging was SMS, right? Sure. And that and that let you text that let you do text back and forth. And then there were, and then people were like, "Yeah, but I want to like send pic, like I like want to like send pictures and stuff too." So then there was MMS, I think, Media Messaging Service, and then you know they did all that. But then they wanted, you know, there's something more, and then that's when Apple made like iMessage, right? You can send like you know large file sizes and pictures and stuff and whatever. Okay. And that's that's where the difference came in, where if Android sent something to uh, an Apple phone, it would have to display it as like SMS. It couldn't do the iMessage thing. And to separate it, he goes, it's not, it's not an Android thing. It's like iMessage is an Apple only service or whatever. Okay. So that's why it's, that's why they're different. And then people just kind of took that and was like, okay, well now we just need to shame people that have green because we're obsessed with Apple and we're we're snobs and whatever. But there is a thing now that's called RCS, I believe, that does all the same thing that iMessage can do, which is like red receipts, uh, showing when people are typing, uh, certain like emojis and other sort of features that you have with iMessage that you can you don't have with Android phones. They you can do that with Android phones now, but Apple they keep it as blue and green. Apple refuses to incorporate it because they know that there is this like that they their users have like the stigma of not wanting to be a green bubble. Yeah. Like it could be and then they also like purposefully like if okay. you look at like like readability like the readability of text is just better white on blue is just easier to read than white on green and that's just done purposefully. So Apple has made this like air, this just like basically they just made it to like shun people and keep people in like their sphere because you don't want to be a green bubble. And they refuse to f update it and make it all work together for that reason. But people think it's like a problem with Android phones and it's not. So the green tech, any, if you ever have an issue with texting Android people. Just know it's manufactured on purpose. And that Apple uh, is evil and probably hates children. Once again, and, uh, capitalism is fine. Probably. Probably hates, yeah. And they've probably committed multiple crimes, but I mean, I can't say anything about that. I think you can, you just choose not to. Well, no, I don't want, uh, I don't want um, Tim Cook coming after me. No. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm done with. Double apples, uh, you know.